there are lots of uh, uh, interventions, let's say, to uh, improve quality of life of people with dementia. You can think about music, you can think about uh, uh, movement, for instance. Uh, we're going to do a large uh, randomized controlled trial on exergaming, for instance. It's a new type of, uh, let's say, moving, a uh, combination of exercise and gaming. Um, that's interesting, but we also do several studies on art for people with dementia. And, uh, for instance, we have interactive um, yeah, tours in museums for people with dementia and their carers. And uh, people like it very much, especially because it's in a normal environment. And also the carers, they like it very much that the people with dementia in the, in the museums, they react in a way uh, they're not used to see anymore, the carers, because they're only caring at home. And now they're in a normal environment and they see, uh, yeah, this is really a normal person also, with his uh, own interest, uh, etc. And it stimulates them to also do other things besides the museum tours, to do other things with uh, people with dementia. So it gives a more, let's say, yeah, it's a more respectful way. Um, not that family is not respectful, but the focus is so on caring that they forget that there are also people with their own interests and want to do also normal things. And um, so yes, there are lots of um, interesting developments, uh, psychosocial interventions. Um, I think it's still a gap that there is too little attention for uh, the way people with dementia adapt to dementia, especially after the diagnosis and the beginning of the disease. Uh, because most psychosocial interventions are focusing on more moderate and severe dementia. And especially in the beginning of the disease, there are so many things that change your life. Um, there's little support, let's say, and little knowledge also what exactly happens with people. So in this uh, Alzheimer Europe, Alzheimer Disease International Conference, you also have the people, the group of people with dementia, who, uh, if you, who you can hear the voice, uh, it's a European working group for people with dementia who have a lot to tell about yeah, how the experience of dementia is. And we can do a lot more about development of supporting people in their experience and yeah, the difficulties they have with coping and dealing with the consequence of dementia.